Do I look like a bougie artist yet? I'm sorry, what? I'm ripping off genius. Verita Serum is basically a confrontation, but a confrontation where you know exactly what the other person is going to say. It's kind of like you just want to hear them admit it. Tell me once again mm, 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 I didn't make the cut mm, 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 mm. Is it because I'm way too in love with us? Mm, 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 mm. A couple years ago I went to this talent convention in Toronto and it basically promised a lot of things that you can't really promise and so I went like a fool. It didn't go as I thought it would and that was back when I thought the only way I could do anything in the music industry is if somebody signed me to a label. Back then I was like you know the only way to make it is if somebody sees potential in me and decides to sign me. When I went to that convention and I was disappointed I was kind of like well obviously this always happens I was in love with this idea of meeting somebody who was powerful in the music industry who had the power to make me a star and tell me once again mm, 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 was I not good enough mm, 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 did I not let my head down I'll show you When you are somebody that's trying to make it in the music industry, you're always thinking, am I good enough? Should I even be doing this? Who do I think I am that I think I can achieve something like this? You constantly have these doubts. You have three good days and then on the fourth day it's like mental breakdown, I hate my life, I suck at everything. But then you pick yourself up and you go back on. But then on the other hand, when you're a woman in the music industry, especially when you're trying to be an artist, it's kind of like, well, maybe I don't fit the mold that the industry wants me to be in. When you look at a lot of women in the industry, a lot of the times, not all the time, but a lot of the times, the persona that they have or how they're being sold is overly sexualized. And I've never been that way. And so at that time, I was like, you know, maybe I'm just not what they're looking for. So you have that whole, like, am I good enough? Can I do this? On top of, I'm not being sexual enough for them to be interested in me. And I got way more soul than you care to notice Excuse me sir, but I have a question What the fuck does the word authentic mean? At that convention, I went to this particular workshop where there was a bunch of music execs, I guess, people that were working in the industry, and we were able to have like a Q&A with them. At this point, I was like, sweet, I know all this stuff. I just want to know what you look for in a potential artist that you're trying to sign or someone that you want to work with. Like, what do you look for? He was like, I look for authenticity. And I was like... Like, what does that even mean? And I could swing and step if you needed me to Let me guess I don't have the look you're looking for But you're missing out on this Don't tell me you're looking for authenticity Like, don't give me this bullshit Because if that were the case Then everybody would be famous Do you really think we're all sitting here trying to be somebody that we're not? I'm just here trying to be me and do my thing and when you tell me that you're looking for somebody authentic and you're telling me that I'm being rejected, it's like, or you're telling me that I'm not being me. How would you know that? When I heard that from him, I was like, girl, bye. Like, don't lie to me. Don't say that you're looking for authenticity when I know that you're not. You're looking for somebody that you can sell, that you know people are gonna find really charismatic and good looking and want to buy stuff from them, which is fine. Like, I get it, the music industry is a business, but just don't lie. Where did the truth go disappear to? Where do the youth crave to use? Lies in the news, thought we could trust you. Money abuse, you can't refuse. Corruption is everywhere, whether you know it or you don't. And for me, growing up in South Africa, where it was blatantly obvious 
in the government, my school, in the workforce. And it's sad because people that you should trust, like your government and the news who you rely heavily on for information, you should be able to trust them, but you can't because it's in their interest to lie to you and to not tell you the entire truth. Who am I supposed to get this information from? And I feel like as a younger generation, we're slowly realizing everything about the world. We're kind of like, what the fuck is this? Like, what is this mess? And tell me what I need to make you spill your guts. Should I mix up the potion called fairy dust serum? Yes, Veritas Serum is a Harry Potter reference. It's basically a truth serum. So you give somebody this serum and then anything you ask them, they will automatically tell you the truth. They cannot lie. And so it's like, wow, I really wish Veritas Serum actually exists so that I could give it to this dude who gave me this authenticity speech and I can hear exactly what the hell he's trying to say because, girl, he was not, <laughs> he was not telling me the truth. And tell me what you need To look me in the eye oh, And get me to believe It's not worth the try You can lie to me all you want and you can feed me this bullshit But at the end of the day, I want this so bad That nothing you say is gonna stop me I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna keep trying even though you keep rejecting me I am going to keep doing it because I want it this bad Look me in the eye and tell me the truth Même si la vérité I don't care if it hurts, I don't care if it's mean, I don't care if it's too forward, just tell me the truth. Because I'd rather know the truth and deal with that aspect of it than live my life and think that the reason for this happening is something completely not the reason at all. Can you believe even going to the talent convention, you have to pay money? Can you believe that? They invite you to the talent convention and then they want your money it's like but you invited me why are you making me pay don't go to talent conventions they are a lie